So I've probably mentioned it before, but I have a fairly high GPA. It's a 6.8 to 6.9, and we use a 7-point scale here. Not flexing, I just had to mention that for the video. So every time I go see one of the course coordinators, they're like sharks with blood in the water. Like, oh, PhD student, PhD student, try to get him. I have no interest at all in doing a PhD. So let's talk about why. Good morning everyone and welcome back to the channel. So there's a couple of reasons why I don't want to do it. I would say that the most obvious reason is that I'm already going to be at university for four years because I'm doing an honours degree. So I'm going to leave with my Bachelor of Software Engineering honours. And doing a PhD on top of that, what is that, another three years or four years or something ridiculous like that? That sounds horrible. <laughs> I'm already pretty sick of university at this point. I don't really see much of a benefit of staying besides the fact that my job is with the university and they want a student to do it. I'm not working the job right now, but they're going to bring me back on for the next stage, hopefully. So that'll be nice. But yeah, I don't feel like staying for that much longer. It, that's way too much time. I want to go do something else with my life. And continuing on from that, a lot of employers, for some reason, at least this is what I've heard from people online who've done software engineering or computer science PhDs, a lot of employers will treat that as some sort of ability to actually work and for junior positions will think that you're somehow overqualified even though you've never actually worked in that position. All you've ever done is research and write papers. So you actually have no industry knowledge besides what you learn in university. You, but you have no like practical skills really. But for some reason, just because it's like, oh, you have a PhD or you have a master's, there's this idea that you know what you're doing when in reality, you're just as clueless as every single other junior that comes out of university. <laughs> so you end up really kneecapping yourself in the job market. And that's something that I really don't want to do because what I want to do is I want to get out into industry as quick as possible. That's why I'm working a web development job right now. I could have just not accepted it because basically the way it worked was one of the lecturers was sending around an email looking for someone to do some work and I was the only person who ended up accepting it so I just got the job because <laughs> they just needed someone. But if I didn't want to work in industry, I wouldn't have accepted that job. I would have just gone and just kept pedaling along with the university, focusing on learning more rather than learning technical skills, which right now that's my focus. I want to build up my technical skill base so when I do get out into industry, like properly, not just doing some casual remote work, I'd like to do the remote work still, but just full time. When I do get out into industry, I actually have some experience working with businesses and actually have some real skills that I can move to those jobs. I also have really no interest in going into research. Ignoring everything else, I think that might be the main focus because I absolutely love practical software development. I've like, I, I don't really have any field that I actually want to study that much. I'd rather go and actually do something productive in industry. I don't really want to be spending my time reading research papers and writing and just not really doing anything. Obviously, there is a lot of time when, depending on what field of research you're in, like if you're an AI, you are going to be programming. But I don't want to just be doing something within a research context. I want to be making a product that will go out to consumers, which will make some money and which will hopefully help people be more productive with whatever job they're doing. Whereas when you're in a research context, sure, you're going to end up eventually funneling that research down into industry products if you make something useful. But in reality, it takes that long for that sort of research to get to people that if you really want to actually do something useful for the industry, you're much better off being closer to the ground level. And that I think is where the developers are at, because you may not be directly working with customers, but there's only a few layers of abstraction between the business people, you and the customers. So you can actually learn what those sort of people want from a product, because it's all well and good to be researching interesting and new technologies. But if there's no practical use for them, then you're not really achieving anything with your time. It's kind of just researching for the sake of research. And sure, some people want to do that and they will get funding for doing that. But 
for me, that doesn't really sound appealing. I'd rather actually go and make a real product that real people want. And this one may not be important to some people, but it's fairly important to me. So I want to buy a house as early as possible. I'd like to own a place by the time I'm maybe 23, 24 at the latest. Right now I'm 21. And while you can get funding for being a grad student and actually doing PhD work through scholarships and things like that, the money you get really isn't that much. It's probably way more than I'm making right now. But if I go into industry, get myself a job doing that, I'm going to have a much easier time paying the house off. I've never really had a big focus on money in my life. And my family hasn't either, which has definitely ingrained some really good lessons into my life. I don't really see the point of having ridiculous amounts of money, but if I can make more, pay off a mortgage much quicker, then that'll be much more helpful for me in the long run. And doing research really doesn't bring in that much. It will bring in enough to survive and it'll give me more than I'm making just filling shelves in a supermarket. But doing dev work in the field will definitely make much, much more. That's for sure. And the last thing is that I don't really have any interest in doing the work that is tangentially related to doing a PhD and just being a grad student in general. Like, I don't really have any interest in teaching classes. That sounds horrible to me. I don't want to deal with terrible first years. I know because I was a terrible first year and I know how awful that environment is for actually learning. You can't get anything done in those classes. So if you like this video, remember to like and subscribe and hit the little bell icon below if you want to see more from our channel. And if you think your friends will like this video, remember to share it with them as well. And leave me a comment if you've got something interesting to say about this video. So I think that is pretty much everything. And I'm out.